a fight. Michigan was supposed to be let out of quarantine on May 15th, but it got extended till the 28th of May. I think we're all just driving each other crazy. <laughs> Alaska, you're just the same. You're just the same. What's up, Bella? No, no, no. What's up, Bella? Oh. Oh, this is hurt. Ella, this is you. Get triggered. Stop it. What's <laughs> up? Yeah. Hannah, your dish is I put Hannah on the chore chart. She, she wasn't on the chore chart for like four months, right? Yeah. And we had to pick up all these extra chores around the house. <laughs> Finally, I made a new one. So we have a chore chart that Hannah just got on like two weeks ago. Since I moved home, I recently got put back on the chore chart. I think it's fine. I don't mind doing a chore every day. Reed, you need to sweep. Jack, did you feed the unlock the dogs? Jack. My least favorite chore is probably sweeping. Probably cleaning the mudroom. I don't like doing that. My least favorite one is dishes. You have to do it like three times during the day. Like there's a lot of people in our house. So we obviously use a ton of dishes. We had a Mother's Day meeting and it was like right in the morning when we got up. Why are you guys being so annoying? Just shut shut up, Bella. Shut, you're not funny. She's a little funny. That no, was she's not. not. She said she has an elite sense of humor, which is not true at all. Would you like to have a long, boring meeting or would you like to make some decisions sure. and then get through this? Yeah. Okay, we're going to make brunch. So we getting up at 9 and making some potatoes, some eggs, some bacon. Okay, and mimosas. Make sure there's enough for all of us for mimosas. Mom should have like a spa day probably. Then 2 p.m. Zoom. Then 3 p.m. We are going to go for a hike or an excursion somewhere. And we're going to order takeout that night and have a family movie. So Mother's Day, David kind of went off and he had a whole meeting. We just talked about how we can make it special for mom. Sit up. Sit, sit your ass up. Oh. Two feet on the ground. Just shut up so we can get this over. Get rid of the headphones. Stop looking at your phone unless you're looking at weather. I will text you the schedule. Yeah, I had a whole meeting plan and all these things that we were going to do for like three or four days, but that we didn't end up doing a lot of them. Meetings are just like end up going on for like an hour when they should be happening for like 20 minutes. We're making mini cakes. I thought you were doing green. This is sea foam green, bro. For Mother's Day, we all made brunch for mom. Did you mix it with blue? Do you know what sea foam green is? Look it up. I just wanted to see if you could actually listen. Shut the f up. You're annoying as Reeve, no I one likes to get a reaction out of you. <laughs> so Reeve just like has to like clap back at everything. Reeve, I was just literally trying to get a reaction out of you. We're always running out of bananas uh -huh. around here. Yeah, because you eat them all in one day. Like, I have bananas with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Find me some cornmeal, dude. Yep. I waited to get everybody up and make brunch for mom, and I was gonna make a breakfast pizza with a recipe I hadn't made before. Corn meal. Two like words. Huh? Shut up and get to it. Ella. What? It's a joke. It's not Ella's day. Yeah, it is. It's Mother's day. <laughs> Every day is Ella's day. Stop being a pain in the ass. We're putting brunch together for Mother's Day, and David was just like freaking out. Hey, hey. Mother's Day. Even though I already said it last night at midnight. The kids wanted to plan a really great celebration weekend for me. I just really just wanted a brunch. Put all your energy where you want it to go, and I wanted it to go toward mimosas, a breakfast pizza, and they did that. This is like a national holiday. <laughs> we tried to make Mother's Day special with a brunch and doing presents. Before we do this, though, I want to ask you guys, mm -hmm. what's the hardest part <gasps> about um, me and mommy taking? Uh, um, taking care of yourself. How about you, Hannah? Keeping up with what everyone's doing, like keeping tabs on everyone. Mm -hmm. How about you, Ray? When somebody's like mad, then they're like not mad, but then another kid's mad. <laughs> it's so, so like, hard. Like, Woo, that's a verdict. <laughs> then someone else is mad. How about you, David? Figuring out what's for dinner or lunch and breakfast <laughs> every insane. damn day, you know? <laughs> Putting up with everybody's shit yeah. all the time. It's a lot, but I love it. Ready? I love it. I'm ready, Kate! Oh, that is so cute! This is so cute. Okay. Ella made her a uh, cookbook with all of her favorite recipes. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I have always wanted this. It's just been a big stash up there. Now you can it all in one place. All in one place. This is so so nice. Thank you, Ella. You're welcome. Show G and G's recipes. Oh, that's perfect. Just what I wanted. Good job, Ella. Yeah. Let's do kids last. Yours is probably better than mine. Although I did do the blinds. It's like I did it. But you don't have to tie this in the middle, honey. Just so you know. It makes it hard to open. But they were all a bunch of loose ends. It looks like crap. But you just pull it like this. Oh, I'm in an ice pot. The ones I buy are weird. You gotta tie them. No, you don't have to tie them. They always are like this. It wouldn't be a gift bag without this. 
Conversation starters. That's cute. Well, this is a good one. Just a quick question. What are you saving up for? I'm yeah. saving up for potentially a new car, but mostly college things that I like don't want you guys to pay for because I feel bad that you guys are already paying for so much. I want to pay for like my sorority things at least. Me, Reem, Jack, or say all saving up for an Xbox. This is from all the kids. I don't remember what we got her. I didn't buy it. Hannah did. Don't tell mom. <laughs> it's so true. How many times have I heard that from the side? Don't tell mom. You guys don't think I can hear. I have like bionic hearing. I can hear everything. I was like, sometimes when you try to hear a country, you're like, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You hear things that we don't want you to hear, and then when we want to hear things, you don't hear. This is really cool. Where did you get this, Hannah? So it's just like Play Doh, but. But oh, yeah, you just play with it. Oh okay. my gosh, I'm relaxed already. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, this is awesome. What do you guys think that is? That's good. Oh, uh, it's a. Uh, what, no, no, don't say it. They don't know what it is. What do you guys think this is? Um, Fidget spinner. <laughs> Fidget spinner. Ellen and I are doing community college classes. I'm taking English and Communications. So I started an English class and a math class just so I can get those credits done. I think it's nice to wake up early and have some more structure to my day. It sounds like Hannah's really keeping up on it and I know Alice just getting her feet wet with it. I think the boys are, after a slow start, are finally now doing their homework on a regular basis and getting all their assignments in. So I got some emails today, guys, that you, uh, that you guys have some missing assignments. What's going on? Mm -hmm. I really don't know why we're doing school right now. What I don't like getting are the emails saying the boys haven't done certain assignments. Let's check in for lunch to make sure you have everything submitted for the week. I sort of missed real school, but it's also nice to have the freedom to do whatever you want. Every day feels like the same because we are on a schedule and we can't do anything. It's kind of annoying that quarantine got extended. Every day feels the same. Like at first it was nice to have a schedule, but like now I kind of hate it. A couple weeks ago we did a lot of yard work. Mom really wants to redo the outdoor area. We've done definitely a lot of home improvement. My name's Almost, and I'm gonna scale this wall. Are you guys? Go, girl! Oh, there's a spider. Where? Oh, never mind. It's so much. <laughs> Is it? Good job, girl. Like Nobody really cared. Like for more dangerous parkour. Take it off, you f. <laughs> you get the top. <laughs> 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 That's how you do teamwork. ball things because they're pretty fun. I like the bouncy balls a lot. It's it's really fun to like play around with. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest problem is where do you put the things? They're huge. They no, I can knock them over usually. Three, two, one, go. Ah! The boys have like random things to keep them occupied and they have those bouncy balls that they fight with. They have their lightsabers. Jack got a lightsaber for his birthday. So me and him just like fight with those all the time and it's pretty fun. We don't kick it. We try to work out like um, mostly every day. On Monday, we do like upper body. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday I work out. Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> One time, baby. One time. Let's get it. Oh. Two. Three. Go. Go. Four times. No. So how's your how's your uh, how's that popsicle? Good. I've been posting on Instagram more, like trying to do like once a week. What should I do on my caption? What does this picture say to you? Well, I don't know. Like you can, I don't know what caption it is. So I do help the boys take Instagram pictures and post them. They don't really know how to edit them or take the pictures super well, so I do help them because I enjoy it. Say like, I think it's about time for a haircut because people don't know you already cut your hair. The lacrosse team came to our house, which I thought was so cute since Ella didn't even get to play one lacrosse game. And that made it really special for her. They did like a cute little drive-by. What's going on? Oh my god. <laughs> it's your senior day! <laughs> Congratulations to Ella Malosh. Ella it's will real. be remembered as one of the greatest teammates in school history. Her ability to connect with all the players, regardless of their age or ability, made her so well respected. Ladies and gentlemen, Ella Malosh. When did this get planned? I had no idea this was gonna oh happen. Toby's birthday is the day before Maya and Jack's on May 14th. Toby, come here. Oh. 
Yeah. We're gonna put it on the ground and let him lay on it while we sing to him. Come here. Look. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Where'd he go? Happy birthday to you. He sung happy birthday, and, but and we give him a new bed, but he didn't really know what was happening, so. Happy birthday, Toby! <laughs> He's so scared right now. Do you see him just stop? He was like, Toby, I have a birthday present for you. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Toby, come here. I redid your apartment. Apartment oh, makeover. <laughs> give him an apartment tour. All right, Toby. He's like, apartment tour. MTV, welcome to my crib. I turned 14, May 15th. We had birthday cakes, actually. We had uh, a Michigan State one for Jack, a Wisconsin one for Reeve. Doing the mop, doing the mop, Bella. Okay. Mop. Facing <laughs> the windshields. Oh, well, that's actually a good one. Jack has like a weird obsession with whipped cream, and he was like putting it in his mouth, and I was like, Jack, stop that. And then he was like, what? And then he sprayed some on my face. And then I went inside, washed my face off. I thought it was over with. And then I walked outside, he slapped me. He's pissed, wait. Keep that fight out of here, whatever that is, keep that out of here. Bro, look what happened. Hey, let's like get the I went outside, outside. Go wash your face and hands on that. In the hose. They took um, whipped cream and were spraying each other and putting each other's faces and in comes Jack hiding, locking himself in the bathroom. Outside, Jack, get your butt out of the bathroom and go face your whatever it is. <laughs> Yeah, he's like hiding in there like no one knows he's in there. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'll, I'll he's like being quiet. I either sprayed on a shirt and he hit me right here. My ears are nice. Why did you slap him in the ear? I slap him in the ear. No, no, he puts him on my shirt and then I put it on his face and then you attack me. It's so weird to me that the boys are 14 now. Now we have the twins at 14, I'm at 19, so we're all teenagers. It's just nice having all of us be so close in age. I feel like we can relate to a lot more and help each other out and definitely brings us together more. Yeah, I'm super fed up with quarantine. I just hate it. I just wanna go outside now. I mean, it sucks that we're still in quarantine. I know it's for safety and stuff, but like, I just wish so it would start opening up more. Oh, um, I'm excited to hang out with my friends. It's just getting nicer out and I miss my friends and miss seeing people. So right now our state's supposed to reopen on the 28th of May. Not everything's gonna be back to normal, obviously. But yeah, pretty excited for that. Who's been knowing me the most in quarantine? I can't really say there's one person. I think it was like every day. Not thing. pick one. I don't Reeve. have anyone. I'm not gonna say Reeve because here's why. You know, I don't have a favorite child. I don't have a favorite child. One, Jenny two. No, David's been annoying me. Like especially the last week or so, he's been crotchety. He's been. <laughs> Grouchy means? means old. He's been acting old, and everything they could say, he's like, like That's not it. I'm like, settle down. So everyone has their moments in time in quarantine. I say overall, the biggest pain probably has been Reeve. The mom's annoying me the most in the house. You know, sometimes she's cranky, but like we get over it. But since everyone's together for so long, we just all sort of hate each other. Probably Ella. Andrew's been really sassy recently, and he's usually never like that. I don't know who's probably annoying me the most. Probably Reeve. Just super sassy. And I think we're all just driving each other crazy. 